Hey guys, Chuck House Mopar. Uh, in my life, my world right now, I'm a week from going to Mopar Nationals with my buddies. Uh, we're making a five day trip out of it. In your life, it's Friday of Nationals because this will come out next week. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna do a five day trip, leave on Wednesday. Uh, normally we blast over on Thursday, stay there Friday, Saturday, come home on Sunday. We're gonna take it easy uh, and have a nice little stop in Indiana via two lane roads. But I got one more thing I wanna show you guys that I learned. Um, before that, my uncle Bob and the lady he's married to, my aunt Anne Marie came through the other day and he had asked me if I wanted an old timing light he had. So I said, well, yeah. So anyway, Bob, what was it? A it was a 77 van. He did a conversion. He did really cool back. That was in the conversion era. I think an F-250 van, I forget. But this, he had bought a speed control for it. And back then, look at this old uh, Mercury, whatever, what's on there, I don't know. Uh, he bought a, uh, the deal for it, well, they actually had, you put a sensor, a magnet on your drive shaft, and then a magnet on something you would mount, and that's how they would do the time. Pretty old school, but it was a speed control. So I looked in here briefly. Look at this, another Sears. You can't beat these old timing lights. And this one's inductive too. Like I said, I looked in here a little bit. I didn't look in here all the way because I wanted to save it like Christmas. Anyway, so that's cool. I'm gonna give that sucker a shot. Um, I did see that he had a starter button, which is cool. And then a really old school like my dad, this is an old time and light where you got to put, pull the cap, the wire off the cap and stick it in and put the wire on there. And my dad had one of those. Yeah. Uh, what else, Bob? Oh, I know, this is a dwell meter, All right? Get in there. Yeah. Cool, look at this. Grand Junction, Colorado. Dixon, oh Dixon, you know what, they, these guys used to, they did those tax, the aftermarket tax they would do for uh, Chrysler, I think Pontiac too. There's the directions. I wish uh, that would have been cool to see the speed owner's man for that. He's even got a couple little things for plugging up vacuum lines too. Cool. Alright, thanks Bob. He'll be well used. Uh, so what am I doing? I have been selling my junk. That AX15 trans I had here finally sold. Uh, I had another set of tow hooks. I got 85 bucks for them. And I think it had everything to do with the fact that I cleaned them up and painted them. Um, yeah, I'm glad some of my junk's leaving the, leaving the building. But, so this is the uh, lower valence off the Cuda, right? 72 through 4. It's in good shape. I mean, there's some cracks but uh it's in good shape so it needs to be washed but there is a crack here right here you see this where it opens up okay now what i'm gonna do i did this with my son's duster and uh you take acetone okay and you take abs plastic and let me tell you what, you just can't find this crap anywhere. ABS. The other stuff won't work. So uh, you got to get shavings. I, I did a test thing to show this was ABS. Got that at Home Depot, whatever it costs. Uh, you got to get shavings. You mix the crap up and it makes a little gooey glue. So uh, what I'm going to do is use this on my Dremel um, and make a groove in there. And. Uh, in the interest of getting this sold. Uh, that way I can say, well, it's for sale, has one crack repair and show them. And it doesn't show on the front at all. Okay. Oh, it's, I lied. It actually does. But once it's together, I mean, why wouldn't it show? It shouldn't be a problem. And get this sucker down the road too. All right. Here we go.
Okay. So, uh, yeah. You got to get this crap down to stuff like this. And even some of this is a little thick. You can't go doing slivers and chunks and stuff. It just won't dissolve. It will dissolve. It'll take, I don't know how long, forever probably. Uh, normally I use my pocket knife and scrape it. I used, what did I use? It's here somewhere. This bit, right? Actually worked pretty well. And of course this stuff gets heated up and it melts and I think it's gonna work, we'll see. Uh, and then I took this bit on here and uh, grooved out the hole, the, the crack a little, okay? I started off with a, uh, you can't see it very well, but there's a little groove in there. Uh, I started off with, uh, you know, put a Sharpie marker line on there. What I think I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, put throw some tape on here to keep that sucker together. Uh, okay, so let's just keep rolling. It's a short video anyway. Um, acetone, I use this stuff anyway. So acetone's about eight bucks. I think I got about four dollars in that fitting. So what is that, 12 bucks, 13 out the door. Um, I'm sure I could have taken this to a uh, auto body shop that's got a uh, deal for doing welding, welding plastic. Now what I found out was, uh, and you know, they would have charged me 20 bucks probably, and it would have been a lot better than this. Okay, so what any, anyway, uh, what I did find out was you don't want to use a lot of this acetone, because you know, I'd done this four or five years ago, and uh, I had to do a test thing last night, so I got the eyedropper out. Um, this may not be enough, but uh, yeah, I'm just doing this to show you guys what's what. You know, what is available out there for, oops, shit, jackasses like us, or like me, okay. It, uh, you know, so you can get something done. Because you might have had more cracks, and they might start charging you a lot of money to do your cracks. So yeah, I'm gonna do this. You guys still see what I'm doing? Let me stir this crap up, get in there. Until it becomes goo. It's probably enough acetone. Maybe too much even there. Of course a popsicle stick or something would be better. A better thing than my deal here would be better. Kind of just get her going and let her sit, marinate. Yeah, I don't think I need any more acetone than that. Let her sit there and think about it for a minute. You see that? Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I think uh, this will, this is an excellent repair for this, but it's not as strong as other stuff. I mean, you could I could have done JB Weld too, as far as that goes, but um, you can't always do that. JB Weld, JB Weld. Where would it not work, honestly? But uh, anyway, all right, I'll show you when I start pasting this stuff in there. Okay, here we are. Um, yeah, there's this, there's it is. I had to use a few more droppers for you don't, this is enough for this job. You don't want a lot of acetone in there, like I was saying, so. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's all fixed. I got this all rigged up here because that seems what holds the crack together the best for this crap to set up. Um, how long does it take to set up? Probably three hours before I dare move it. Or whatever, you know. So yeah, a uh, couple days it'll all be, well, overnight. It'll be uh, done. So yeah. This is awesome. I don't, I'm pretty anal. You know, I don't like doing a half ass looking job when I'm done, you know. I want it to look okay, so yeah. I'm gonna keep the chunks out. There. I have chunks. I don't know. Some of those bigger pieces didn't wanna, didn't want to melt. They would have melted if I would have waited longer. Here, how ugly is this beginning to look? 
it'll level itself out, I guess. Hell, what do I know? That looks like shit. Yeah, that looks like shit. Hmm. Good. Let's get a good look here. My flashlight out. Um. Well, yeah, it looks like crap. It ain't pretty, but you know what? It's a big, it's a bunch on there. I kind of wet my finger and this won't stick to me. Yeah, it looks like dump. But, uh, uh, let's see if we can earn some style points here. Get some of this crap. Yeah. Style points. Making it pretty for the new, new guy that wants to buy it. I guess, I don't know. Be like, how'd you do that? That really looks good. That's professional. Anyway, all right. Uh, I'll show you later. Pitter patter. Back at her. It's like four days later. Four? Yeah, I think so. Uh, had to leave. Had to go. Couldn't stay. Uh, let's see how we look. So what I did, I just moved everything over here. All right. Okay. Um, Guys, the thing with doing what I'm doing versus using JB Weld, this stuff melts the ABS, okay? JB Weld, we all know works, you know, wonderful, but this literally is the, it, this is the, sh the shizzle. So there it is, I haven't seen it. That glob had me a little concerned because it does do some melting whether it was gonna, you know, warp stuff, and it didn't, all right? So now, wow, she's really, Really flexy. Mailman's here. Um, what I'm going to show you is you can work this stuff. I'm going to get the Dremel out. We'll grind on a little bit. Um, why? Because I want to show you that this shit works really good for fixing a grill. Not just something like this that I don't really need to do all this on. But, you know, slats in your grill. I mean, it might take a while. She's busted up. But you can literally, uh, you know, cut a piece. Let's say you needed a chunk that was missing somewhere. You can cut a chunk out and fit it back in and make a nice straight piece let's say i had a big chunk missing there yeah it works done it been there done that all right let me move this all right that's done you see i ground it down i took some 120 and cleaned it up and then i, I had a little 180 through it or if i cared more i would you can get that really nice you know and then you paint it it's almost like it didn't happen um yeah, so I just want to show you guys what I found out once fixing those. So anyway, it's the Saturday before Nationals. We're leaving Wednesday. Um, cleaning out the CUDA. Uh, picking some this stuff along for the satellite because the wipers decided to quit working, but then they decided to start working. Uh, we'll see. The tickets for Nationals are here. Um, remember this? We went down to Bowling Green last year and Mop with his Shart, the 72 Dart, kept overheating on us. And I bought this for him to tease him with it. And uh, he didn't like that too much, I guess. Well, this is mine. This is a good omen right here. It's in your car, you ain't breaking down. I pulled out the wide band out of the satellite. I guess she's tuned, guys, tuned as she's gonna get. Uh, the big reason is because I took it through the firewall through the, sh the clutch lever boot and I got hot air blowing on me the whole time um, I've got a spare I think I'm getting a 215 75 15 it's a 20 almost a 27 inch tall spare that way I can run the rears are 28 and probably not tear up the differential the sure grip I got to clean all this crap out this is all left over from when I uh, did the seat but uh here's my jack here's this all this stuff was in here there's a hook this is not the correct hook for this car but i think it's gonna work god forbid you get us get a flat anyway yeah all right all right i gotta yeah i gotta have to clean some stuff anyway guys thanks uh 
you're watching this, it's Friday of Nationals, and uh, we'll hopefully have some good weather. All right, thanks, guys. Talk to you later.